Blowing up in his mouth. Can't say nothing. Can't say nothing. I like this. All right, everybody, we are here at Champion Pizza. This is our favorite pizza shop in all of New York. Um, it's the first pizza shop I think we ever went to. The pizza's good. You see hockey all over the wall. You meet so many great people all over the world, man. It's amazing. And you know what I love about it? You see the champions in Lower Manhattan. We most spend most of our time live in Lower, in Lower Manhattan. Manhattan. What I like about you know Champion Pizza is that he got 15 different flavors of pizza. That's crazy. Everybody always loves Champion. Are you guys ready to try the 15 different slices? Come on. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on that video. I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Yes, that Dollar Shave Club has all your grooming products, toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products, everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. DSC is basically giving away their daily essentials starter set to new members for only $5. In your first box, you will receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie butt wipes. You will also receive their executive razor, which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges after the first box replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month this five dollar offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash fung bros that's dollarshaveclub.com slash fung bros thank you so much so click on the link down below yes we got our own url you can go get your starter set for five dollars i'm gonna go use it right now peace Woo! Okay, okay, all right. First meal of the day, we have a humongous spread out here, guys. We got all 15 slices that they got here. I have to say, the pizza crawls are some of my favorite videos. So we did one at Stanton Pizza a while ago. That was actually done with hockey's partner, Eddie. Hello, guys. People said it was, uh, hey, why did Fun Bros go to their uncle's shop? That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a New York margarita. That's a, like, actually call it grandma. Grandma. But in New York City, we call it as margarita. Fresh mozzarella cheese, they get like fresh basil. We got like Reggiano Parmigiano cheese. So San Marzano, there's a pizza guy, he make a pizza, represent his country, Italy. Which is this one used as a green collar, tomato sauce they used as like a red collar. For the flag? Yeah, for the flag. And fresh mozzarella cheese used as a white. Already, just one slice, my mind is blown. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I'm going for that one because I feel connected to the history now. Okay. It's good, it's very traditional. It's very light. Like, if you grew up in the suburbs, this is not what pizza tastes like, but this is more refreshing. All right, and then I got the margarita pesto right here. Oh my God. You know what I love about the sauce here at Champion? It's, it's kind of light, it's a little bit sweet. You know, it's actually an organic sauce that they make. This stuff is super high quality. Think what's the New York style cheese pie. This is probably one of the most common styles you see around America. Uh, what I like about this cheese pizza is that it has the right balance between the sauce and cheese. You know how some cheese pizza, you try to make it super cheesy. That's like way too much, it's too heavy. This is the, has the right amount of balance of, you know, lightness oh, between man. the sauce and the cheese. It's a perfect balance. This is uh, green up on a bacon. Okay, so tell me pineapple bacon because most people in other parts of the country, they think of pineapple ham. Be honest, I think we are the first one making this one though. It was Hawaiian, everybody just like get boring, you know, like, hey, pineapple. Right. I've never had pineapple bacon before because, you know, your traditional Hawaiian gives it a different taste with the crunchy bacon in it. I like it. You know, the funny thing is in Hawaii, they don't eat Hawaiian pizza. That's just America trying to come up with something. Yeah, I got the white pesto. They have like a four different cheese. They got pecorino, they got reggiano, fresh mozzarella cheese, wait, 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 cheese. Wait. Garlic, pesto. Oh my gosh. We probably have the most famous slice in the world. That's right. Actually, you know, like pepperoni, like classic New York slice. You know what stands out to me about this slice of pepperoni is just the sheer amount of meat. I've got the classic American slice. With this one, I'm going to put everybody's favorite ingredient, the Parmesan put cheese. The army on. The pepperoni explosion right there, man. <laughs> it's blowing up in his mouth. Can't say nothing, can't say nothing. Chicken parm. Chicken parmesan is a real Italian dish. Yeah, you have like red chicken, you have ricotta cheese, you have like fresh roasted garlic inside the sauce. And you put a lot of pecorino, romano, fresh basil and olive oil. Chicken parmesan. Chicken hey, parmesan. Hey, 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 That tastes like a warm hug from the Italian grandmother 
that I never had. On the West Coast, we don't eat that much Italian food on the West Coast. Nah. That's why, to be honest, on the West Coast, pizza, just not that advanced. No. Barbecue chicken is the same thing, like grilled chicken, no have barbecue pizza. sauce, a little extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit tiny barbecue sauce, Korean sauce we mix it up to so make a little sweetness. Barbecue chicken, like Shaq would say. All right, I'll tell you about this barbecue chicken, though. Okay. It's different. It's got a little bit of Korean flavor in there. Uh -huh. Creamy artichoke pizza and uh, New York City, like everybody make like their own way. When they say artichoke, we blend artichoke. We blend the artichoke, fresh garlic, spinach, and a lot of Reggiano Parmigiano cheese and oh, olive oil, fresh basil. Oh, wait, wait blend it and use it as a cream. Then we put like cheese and we put like fresh artichoke just on top. I'm not gonna lie, other artichoke places, and I'm not saying that those places aren't really good too. For me, the artichoke flavor goes overboard. The artichoke pizza actually, that was really juicy. And when I mean juicy, it's just like, like you said, it's blended, it's smooth, it all ran together. The meat lover is they have uh, three meats. We have like pepperoni, sausage, bacon. Oh, we have a little tiny fresh basil inside the sauce. Meat lovers, meat lovers. But this one, the ingredients, I feel like they're just a lot more fresh. You know, they got a lot of spice, like you said, in the pepperoni, in the bacon. Especially the sausage, I really like the sausage. I really like the sausage, I really like the sausage, I really like the sausage. Pepperoni out here really does got pepper in it. Okay, good. Mac and cheese, bacon. Like, what? we sell a lot, yeah. This is like crazy selling. I don't like mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese, I was man. a little jealous, man. Now I wanted the mac and cheese, man. <laughs> I wanted the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, okay, already at the base, and then you have mozzarella and you got bacon and sprinkled a little parsley on top. Oh, look at now, looking at it. Now, you, now, what you, you eat? You was looking at it like you was I'm about to eat it. it with my eyes. Yo, man. find you a man who looks at you the way Nell looks at this mac and cheese pizza, all right? When I eat straight up mac and cheese, I actually don't even like it with bacon on top because it gets a little Bruh. too salty and too heavy. On the pizza, man, it all balances out. We got lasagna. Lasagna, they have a um, ricotta cheese, sausage, crumbled sausage. They have like some lasagna, tomato sauce, fresh garlic, and just give it a touch like little pasta. That looks good. Now, I actually, low key, I've been eyeing that. You know, as much as I love the mac and cheese, my side piece. Pizza. Yo, side pizza. Yo, side pizza. I was surprised. It tastes like lasagna. I think the chicken parm tastes maybe even more like chicken parm. Okay, buffalo chicken, because as you guys may or may not know, the buffalo wing is from upstate New York. Right? Upstate New York, buffalo. Chicken. This one, it have like a very hot sauce. Actually, two different hot sauce. One of them, I'm not gonna say the name. So we mix up two different sauces. And now uh, it have like a blue cheese on top. You have to love spicy to get this one, but if you don't like spicy, do not try. Buffalo. Pizza, let's go. Let's go. You know, if you guys know buffalo sauce, as you know, spicy, very tangy, has a kind of a citrusy flavor to it. Kind of sour. A little sour, a little sour. yeah. Buffalo is the hot and sour of the West. This is the most maybe spicy and sour commercial mainstream flavor that America has. It tastes like like, you, you go to the Chinese spot, you get the hot and sour soup. It's tangy. Tangy and spicy. Is it tangy no, and spicy? the initial flavor you taste is the same kick that you get from hot and sour soup. Yeah. Initially. Yeah. Later, it changes. Hot first, and then sour second. This one, it, it's called Tuscany chicken. I'll tell you okay. They have a chicken, bacon, oh, ranch, parsley, olive oil. Coming from an LA guy, I love ranch on everything, especially on my pizza. But here, the ranch. It's on point. You know what they call ranch out in New York? Uh, from what I heard, I think it was the, the California ketchup. Ketchup. I just think that adding ranch onto the pizza, it gives it a lot more smooth and tangy taste to the pizza, you know, to kind of comprehend the, the saltiness. And it's funny because from a traditional, like probably pizza standpoint, you shouldn't put ranch on your pizza, but I think no. now it's so popular that spots like Champion. It's 2018. Bro. It's 2018. You gotta incorporate the ranch. Into Things your pizza. is different now. Last but not least, we have something for the vegetarians. Yeah. So many people nowadays, they, they don't eat meat, right? So we have a veggie, you have over here like olive, Roasted onion, roasted pepper, fresh mushroom. They have like a fresh artichoke cream in there. And let it just touch uh, parsley and fresh spinach. Ooh, man. It's got flavor. It's a veggie pizza, but it's got flavor. You know what it is? Um, all the veggies layered up and it almost like created like a new flavor together. Woo, we just went through all oh 15 slices. Oh. I feel it, shake man. Out. Shake, 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 shake. I feel it. It's hitting me. Wait, Nelson, are you trying to say that you probably can't throw down a dunk right now? Where at, bro? Show me right now. <laughs> Give me the rock. I'll still do it. My favorite, wow. and I don't even really generally like the slice, was the 
was the artichoke. Yo! I don't really like it. I thought you was gonna say the pep, but of course, the artichoke is a, it's a unique piece. Anytime you said in your mind, you had this like stereotype or you had like a statement that you told yourself was true, I, David doesn't like artichoke pizza. And then you have a version of the artichoke pizza that you enjoy, it's a switch. Wow. It created a disparity between your old self and your new self. So you can almost say it elevated my mind into questioning what I knew was so, true. So David, what you're trying to say is that sometimes when you grow up with um, a certain image in your mind of something, but then you meet a good version of it, then it flips your perception. Yeah, like more girls should date Asian guys. Like more girls should date Asian guys. Asian guys. I'm going to take the mac and cheese, and Who then, known? Who and known? then because, because of the revelation that we had of the hot and sour flavor, the buffalo chicken, I just realized that that flavor profile. Right. You, if you throw in the sleeper, people, because you already. Yeah, I, I said to. I mean. you, you violated the rules. <laughs> you had, uh, more content. Ejected. I call it more content. I have it. to throw in the chicken parmesan on this. Okay. Because it reminded me of Panther Lake Preschool. All right, all right, all right. My go to pizza out of all 15 might be surprising to y'all. The barbecue chicken. Okay. Because as I, I'm actually not a fan of barbecue chicken pizza, but the barbecue pizza here at Champion, because they threw that Korean flavor in it. Oh. That's what got me, man. That's what got me, man. My sleeper, I'm gonna have to go with the cheese. Ooh. No, as simple as that is, you can't go wrong with it. The well balance between the, the cheese and the sauce is very light. It doesn't feel too heavy. Very thin crust. It was really good. Ooh -hoo. That does it for all 15 slices here at Champion Pizza. Shout out to Hockey, shout out to Eddie. Thank you so much for having us. You know what I love about Champion Pizza? Is it really gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the traditional flavors, flavors from Naples, flavors from Italy, but it also gives you the New York, some progressive flavors. So I was watching them actually make pizza back there. They roll a bunch of uh, spikes over the pizza dough when they bake it. And I was like, oh, why are you doing that? He's like, because it doesn't bubble. Like a microderm roll. Exactly like the microderm roller. All right, y'all, hockey. Uh, thank you so much for sitting down with us, man. And I learned a lot about your pizza and everything. I understand we all work for money, though, to be success, to be, live a better life. But you know what? Sometimes it's not everything money. You're just gonna care for about other people, and especially kids. Kids is our future. And I always tell them this: you know what? Don't get too much sugar. Get a lot of fresh fruits. Don't be angry. Just laugh. That's why I want to make sure kids are more healthy, happy. Happy. Not not just about money, nah, also nah, about nah. meaning. Right? That's right, baby. Money's not everything, man. A lot of people, they say money, 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 but until one day, money go, brother. Champion pizza. <laughs> <laughs> all the pictures you took with all the famous people on the watch. What was your favorite? <laughs> I got a question. What was your most memorable, one of them? Akon. Akon was my favorite. Akon. Yo, yeah. everybody, hockey. Almost got two million followers on Instagram. Or pop up the no, no, Instagram. no, no, <laughs> no, 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 one point nine, one point nine. I said almost. Get him to by, the mil. Mil. by the Get time you to watch this, <laughs> we might be at two million subscribers. You might be at two million followers. <laughs> I like that. In the comments below, let us know which pizza flavor is your favorite, and other pizza chains that you guys might like, especially around the New York area. Leave that in the comments below. Yo, this is Nelson, David, Andrew, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Now, as you can see. We have square slices. You have the uh, circular slice. The triangle slice. The triangle. It's not a circle, bro. Come on now. It's from a circle. <laughs> you take geometry? That's not a triangle either, because it has a, a circular slice. A slice side. from a circle. Okay, okay all right. You're right. You're slice right, you're right. from a circle. A triangle cut from a circle. But it would not be a circular slice. Though. You're right. It's not a circular slice, because it's not a circle. All right.